Welcome to episode 9 of Area 69, After Dark. Alrighty, Queen, so we are on episode 9. We have another special guest. As you guys can see, we have a little chair right here. And honestly, I feel like you guys are not expecting this guest, but she's definitely a fucking baddie. I love her so much. She looks cute, bitch. So today we have Miss Mireya Mua. Period. Hello, besties. She came in with a buzz ball. Hey. <laughs> ah. Friend, don't be flirting with me. I have a boyfriend. Ah. <laughs> How are you, queen? I'm good. You look amazing. I I feel amazing. Oh, good. We just got our hair done together. We did. So she's looking nice and coppery. I love it for you. And dude, right here, I feel like my hair looks black almost, right? Or oh, my tripping? it does. But I went like a burgundy violet type of vibe. So yeah, we're just feeling our baddie energy right now. A little MILF moment because she's also <laughs> a mommy. Dude, you know what's crazy? Sometimes I forget that you're a mom. I do. She's a whole mother. Put some respect on my I head. do forget, dude. It's not like to give you offense or anything, but like, dude, that's crazy. I think it's maybe because your son's older already. So I never like met you when you were going through like your like mm. newborn stage oh, or anything like that. Senora. Yeah. Can I admit something to you right now? What? Would you mind if we trade sides? Because I can't see you. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I have to say this to all my friends whenever I like start hanging out with them a lot. Yeah. Because I feel like they don't know, or even my son, I have to explain to him, he's always on my right side. Um, like, nobody is ever yeah. on my left side because I can, I genuinely cannot see you. Yeah. So, to me, this, I can it's have much a... It's much better. Yes. Okay, girl. I don't I'm like glad I we got that neck. situated. Yes. <laughs> You're all like, what the fuck? Earlier, she was like, what side do you prefer? And I'm like, well, where do you normally sit? So, I was like, I don't want to be like... No, I, I want to take her seat, me. you know? It's okay. You no, wanna, Yeah, you want to take so. Damn. I said we take a shot. Yeah, let's take a shot. You made a point for me? Yeah. Are you all nervous, oh friend? Why? I don't know. Yeah. I'm nervous because maybe the alien babies are watching me they I'm are <laughs> they most definitely are but we love you here queen and i feel I'm like excited. i really want this episode to be like a chance for people to get to know you you know you know what's crazy what i used to watch annette when like back when you were like so little like coming Shut out of high school up. are you pregnant serious? me used to watch you pregnant you eight years Wait. ago pregnant you pregnant me I used to be at home just like watching like Jenny's Shut videos. Up. Jenny's actually the one that taught me how to do wing liner. Oh my god, really? Yeah. She has like this tutorial on YouTube. I hopefully that video is still up because that video is so helpful. Like I don't know who else learned how to do Dude, wing liner. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm tripping. You were pregnant? <laughs> I was pregnant. I know. I look how like a virgin, you? right? I'm just yes, kidding. you do. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I forget you have a kid sometimes. Yeah. Like, I actually genuinely do. <sighs> you know what? I told my mom I was going to die a virgin. You're like, I'm still the first a virgin. One pregnant. No, you're still a virgin. Uh, oh, you're yeah. still a virgin. In what are you eyes? talking about? <laughs> yeah, am, anyway. Technically. Ready? Oh, my God. I'm scared. I don't want to fuck up your makeup. Okay, tell me when to stop. <sighs> I didn't want to fuck up her makeup because I always hate that when they give you like the and it goes all like, yeah. and you're like <laughs> okay oh, no. let me get down let me get down funda 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 le cae toda mi vida Oh, girl. <laughs> so, whenever I have my guests come on, I do like to give them an opportunity to kind of introduce themselves without me being the one. Because, I, bitch, I don't, you know, like, who am I to tell you who you are, bitch, mm. you know? So, with that being said, who is Mireya Emiwe? Mireya Emiwe or Mireya? No, I'm just kidding. No, I feel like Mireya Emiwe here in California. <laughs> here in California, like, I have I'm two a whole, different yeah, personalities. I'm a Yes. You do, though. No, yeah. You I do. feel like I go back home, and I'm like, Hannah Montana, like, take yeah. off the wig. And yes. it's just like, I'm Mireya, the mom, the daughter, the right, sister. Right, You know? And I feel like here, it's, like, totally different. Like, people put up this whole different persona yeah. of who they are, which right. is insane. Let me tell you, everyone's broke. Yeah. <laughs> 
She's like, <laughs> FYI, everyone's broke. Like it's just gr- fake. Yeah, the grass is never greener on the other side. Like, right. I always say that to all my girls mm-hmm. because I'm just like, never sit here and compare your life to anyone yeah. on social media because right. for the most part, it's not even... You look the time, happy. social media is fake. No, like, yeah, fuck. for sure. Like, Instagram, Instagram is like, you gotta be this bad and bougie. Right. Facebook is like the ghetto news. I love uh-huh. Facebook. I don't have Facebook. No, I have no. like a personal Facebook oh, of like okay. memes. Uh-huh. And then I have like, you know, the one that like just shares makeup things. Right, like the right. boring. No, it's good. Yeah, uh-huh. But yeah, like I the have business those side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I started on social media, I started on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, you started with like the makeup videos and things of that sort, right? Yeah. Have you ever done lifestyle or is that no, kind of like I feel out like of your- I I remember that Alan was trying to convince me so yeah. hard to like do lifestyle. Yeah. And it's just lifestyle is not for me. But just simply because I don't overshare too much of my life right. anymore anymore right. right i don't know if it's because like i'm getting older which i'm not old okay it's just but we're older. maturing yes. yes and i feel like my life is so hectic yeah and um with social media it's so hard to like i i want to be relatable but right. a lot of things that happen in my life it's just it's too much it's because, too much yes you know and and i can relate to that because i personally am a very private person but i'm also a very public person to a certain extent because once you publicize something onto social media being an influencer you know you're kind of opening up your whole world you're spreading your legs for everyone to fucking put their weenie in it like you know what but what really irks me though it's the weight thing because mm-hmm. i feel like if i gain 10 pounds because i have like i i went from but I you was, look great dude thank you, you do friend. you do i went from my like i was 240 pounds wow yeah so i went from 240 pounds to after my divorce i was a hundred and <laughs> What you mean? <laughs> what you mean about the divorce? She bitch? was a whole wife. I'm telling you, like the wife that like would wake but up at four in the mean? morning to make lonche. Bitch, you were one of those. Yeah, dude. Like I would make oh, lonche. Oh, you were senora, senora vibes. Yeah. Period. Yeah, never again, though. Ah, do never how again. was that? Wait, wait. Okay, so you were married. Yeah, I okay. was married. How old are you? I'm 27. Oh, okay. So we're you're two years older than me. I'm oh, 25. Okay. 20. How old am I? Me? I think I'm 25. Yeah. 25. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't I know. know that though. You were married? I was married. For how long? Like, what's the tea so, says? Because, <laughs> girl. Um, oh, moon. Me. Oh, me. Like, <laughs> she's like, I need another <laughs> shot. I need another shot yeah, for you sure. Want? Yeah, let's okay. do another one. <laughs> Bitch, we already t- <laughs> We have down this, just us two, girl. Girl. But that's how you know tonight's episode is going to be a juicy one. Dude, but this is why I love Mireya, because she is just a down-ass bitch. Like, she is such a real bitch. And y'all already know, I don't be fucking with just anyone, okay? I She's really don't. a tough crowd, honestly. I Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. I was tell a little me, hurt, tell me. okay? Why? confessions right now i'm gonna confess to you heard about what because me and annette went through this phase where we would facetime each other yes. randomly just to like just smoke like and talk friends, like on facetime besties, yeah you know mm-hmm. and it went from that to it went uh, from that for, for her to like it? just ghosting me like okay. and then i was like damn did i say something wrong mm-hmm. like because I, I don't know if you remember this, but one time, there was this one time you reached out to me. Uh-huh. Bef- before you posted that you were pregnant, I knew you were pregnant. Okay. You had told me. Okay. And we were talking about something. You were asking kind of my opinion about personal life things. Okay. And I gave you my opinion, but like I made it 100%, 110, like really honest with uh-huh. you. Uh-huh. And after that day, we didn't talk anymore. And- Dude, I remember this. Okay. Yeah. And okay. so then I told you like, well, I mean, if it's you know right, right. i was just 100 and i i was so honest and i was high as fuck like when i was texting you mm-hmm. this so i was like oh I'm just be honest because i've always kept it as so a friend honest i'm gonna you. be real yeah. with her right even right. if it's gonna hurt your feelings a little right. bit like i'm gonna be honest you mm-hmm. know and i feel like maybe i did hurt your feelings and at the time you were pregnant and then yeah I, I was like oh no like you and know I, what dude i'll be 100 percent honest with you when i was pregnant i was a completely different person like i was very emotional i was very like oh, easy and to attack no, 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 no but it. it's okay if anything i'm sorry to you because like 
I feel even to Alan, I've told him this that like, you know, I'm sorry that I put you in that position because when I was pregnant, I really genuinely felt like everyone should be there for me and that's it. And just tell me what I want to hear and mm -hmm. that's it. You know? And I didn't want to like overstep because right. every time I would reach out, I didn't want to be like, that bitch is fucking annoying. You right, know what I mean? Right. So I was just like, I'm just gonna give her, her space. I know right now she's like literally something so brand new to your life right and then so i kind of like just backed up mm -hmm. a little bit but i was still here like behind the scenes yeah. like you know that yeah like of course you know i would always and still you know what the crazy thing is is that i never felt like i like made you feel that way so i'm genuinely sorry that really? you felt yeah no, i was dude. like damn she don't like me no, no more <laughs> bitch, no i love you you swear i would not have you here today if uh, i did not love you you know yeah because this is area 69 is a very intimate thing for me and this is also my opportunity to connect with people People and to really just you know just have mommy time and just mm -hmm. be myself so if i didn't love you bitch you would not be I'm here like, me, I heard, like, no dude i'm sorry no because i even have like till this day i go live yeah and i have people ask me like are you friends with anna are you yeah. friends with ellen and yeah. i'm like do y'all know something I don't? Yeah, because yeah. Because I'm like, I'm about I mean, to call these motherfuckers up right now. You also live in Detroit, though. No, yeah, that's you true. Live no, far. and that's what I tell them. I'm yeah. like, dude, it's not like I talk to them every day. Right, like, right. And I'm not like a clingy friend. Like, I'm those friends that, like, we talk just enough and we're good like, like we if we have a connection it doesn't matter how long we go without talking yeah once we link up again it's like nothing ever yeah. happened no, yeah no, for sure and i get that we're like all living our own life like right you, exactly. you know what's going on behind the scenes in my life i right. know what's going on like you know yeah. you're being a whole mom yeah. like this is so new to you mm -hmm. and trust me i get it dude it's hard yeah hey, getting a little human and you're just like wait what do you want from me kid like you bitch know what I mean? when i tell you that i had the hardest time becoming a mom i fucking mean it yeah i mean it and then that situation situation that you're talking about specifically when you felt like i was ignoring you and stuff i was genuinely going through like a really hard time in my life because i had to decide whether how do i say this i had to at that time i had to make really big decisions that would determine the rest of my life yeah do you know what i mean she's a very private person Super. and i feel like the people you smoke with is kind of like the people you're close with because yeah. that's why me and her bonded so well i met her at a brand trip with beauty creations mm -hmm. so that's the first time that me and her no actually i think it was we had met prior yeah at alan's party right but i feel like the beauty creations event was where we really yeah got closer. connected yeah. because i mean we were living it together was literally for literally like me and her like yeah and josue right yes it was like he, like Did we're I like the me? potheads of the group yeah. like like yeah. if you were to like see like oh who's smoking oh it's a name and josue personally I, like i swear on that like the people you smoke with are the people you're close with because you're just not gonna put your mouth on everything like you know what yes. I mean? yeah girl like, like bitch i know you'll be yeah. sucking dick <laughs> like but she wasn't sucking dick that weekend so yeah. we're good like yeah, so and good. i'm a virgin so ah. and josue josue is like an angel fallen for heaven yes so exactly. we're just like perfect <laughs> i'm just kidding girl we're far from perfect let me tell you but i'm definitely excited for the vibes because dude we were talking prior to recording and we were just like dude like we have so much to talk about like this is also our catch-up time because like i said she lives in detroit mm -hmm. you're how many hours away on a flight i am four hours you kind of come so out I often come every two months to get my hair done oh shit so you legit have a routine right? yeah Oh, so shit. every two months it's plan con maña. Like yeah. so, whoever flies me out, ah, whoever, like, whoever flies pays? me out, who, um, then I come. Like I come for work. I come to LA for work. Yeah, and then um, I just kill every bird with every stone. Yeah, or how, como el dicho? Like, kill kill a, every, uh, yeah, yeah yeah that makes sense. So yeah. I I just like work, go get my hair done, yeah. um, see my friends over here because uh -huh. I feel like I've made some really genuine friends over here. To me, like I feel like some I have like literally. Con la mano contada, friends back at home, and it's mainly guys. It's different. Oh, really? Yeah, I have uh, more guy friends than girlfriends. Are they straight? Uh, yeah, actually. Well, uh, okay, so one of my good friends, Samuel Carlos, uh -huh. and he's actually my ex. Oh, really? And, yeah, and he's gay now. <gasps> really? I turned him gay. Ah, bitch, let me find out. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I, that was my first kiss. My first kiss was Aww. Carlos. That's so cute, um, though. That was freshman year of high school. Yeah. And, like, I never, nothing else with him, just my first kiss. Uh -huh. And then I was actually his last girlfriend ever. Oh, shit. And then he, like, kind of came out after high school. Uh -huh. But I, I was married. Remember, I was just telling you I was right, married. Right. So I couldn't have 
him on social media because he was just like, well, that's your ex. Like, but he's gay. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. So he came out and I was just like, I remember that after I separated with my ex, I reconnected with him until this day he's still in my life again. Yeah. Actually, like, none of my exes hate me. Ah, my baby daddy watching this song. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. He's no all... but I get along with, like, all your baby of dad? my exes. Yeah. Oh. I might be dead. Oh. <laughs> He's like, cool oh. or whatever. Rate 10. <laughs> I guess. You want to rate? <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like, yeah, we, we didn't, we got divorced and everything, but honestly, like, our co-parenting, hmm, right? Six. Could it be better? It could, it was better, but he got into a new relationship, so I feel like it's, that's been a huge. That's a tough one. Yeah, but I, I, res I respect it. Just because well, like, you're at a point where in your life where you're like, I moved on. Yeah. You can have your relationship. You do your own thing. But yeah. we have a son together and we got to make There's it work. There's just certain things that I just disagree with. That must with, be hard, you know? And I, I, I feel like that's the, it's not who he's with. It's just, it's just my son. Honestly. You're a mom, my, yeah, dude. Like, you're a mom. It's just my, if yeah. my son's life depends on, then that's when it's a problem. Every you know? decision matters. Yeah. Every decision matters, and it's been a roller coaster. But, I bet, dude. You know, I'm trying and because props of my to you, son. Though. Props to you because I can't even. Dude, parenting is already hard in itself, and I really can't even imagine that like being separated and having to be equal with your child just for their own yeah. sake. And you know, everyone has different parenting styles. My son goes to his dad's every other week. Like, okay, so, so you guys do a, 50, week 50. to week. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he goes to his dad's and. Well, even sometimes, like, if he wants to spend extra time with me or extra time with his dad, he'll, whatever It'll he work wants. Out. Yeah. yeah. He'll be like, oh, baby, can I come over? And he's like, yeah, come over. Or, like, if he would like, mommy, can you pick me up? I'll be right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's, like, kind of that vibe. Mm -hmm. We're not, like, we're kind of, we're, le we're very lenient. Like, you guys me. make it work. Yeah. For him. Yeah. What's his name? My son. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Iram. But Iram. I feel like everyone knows him as Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yeah. I know him as Pumpkin. Yeah. That's what I was like. But you know what's crazy? That he's getting to that age where he feels Don't awkward call that me people pumpkin. come. Can, yeah. No. He feels. Yeah. He was telling me, Mommy, can they call me Iram? Mm. Please. Like, he's Does like, I make I like you it. sad. Yeah, dude. It makes me so sad because recently he just, like, just hit this, like, growth that mm. he used to have his own room, but he was so little that he was, like, sleeping with you. Yeah, he was sleeping with yeah. me. So I took over the room it was like yeah. my beauty room yeah and so yeah <laughs> like that's mine now <laughs> yeah so that now he's like let me i'm ready to have my own oh. gaming room and like he wants it for gaming and like he wants his whole wall just of boy Pokemon stuff cards. Yeah. yeah so i just ordered his bed and like everything so that he's gonna have his own room cry. yeah dude like imagine like i'm not ready he, my for that baby is not gonna sleep with me no hmm. more and like he just turned eight so I don't know. I feel like it was his eight year birthday. It was such a hard pill to swallow for me. Cause you're like, he's growing up. Yeah. He's starting to be more independent. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I'm like, damn, like there's going to be a time that he's just not going to need like, me. Like mom, don't yeah. talk to me. My son is such a sweetheart, dude. Like he calls me his princess. He opens the car door for me. So when I seen that, I was he like, he calls you yeah. princess. He'd be like, Stop. he's like, Vente mi princesa. <laughs> Yeah, my son is very... Stop making me sad. Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm getting really emotional because, like, I picture my son doing that. And yeah. I'm just like, oh my no, God. No, you know what? I'm going to tell you guys something. When I first met my man, I remember that I, I, like, that was a big thing for me. I was like, damn, like, he don't open the car door for me. Like, like my, what the fuck am I yeah, doing like as a woman? Kid, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. my kid opens the car door for me. Right. And un dia, because me and my man smoke a lot, un dia le dije, like, uh, why don't you do well, this my for kid me? opens the car door for me so i shouldn't expect any less from anything less from you yeah ever since that time i kid you not like victor has me in a freaking pedestal like my family always tells me like oh if si se tam, se un pelo, llámale a victor. even my family like if anything happens they're like okay let's call victor like he I just solves all of our problems like my mom my sister like we need anything let's call victor yeah and i feel like never settle for anything less than that because i feel like what i i always wanted that like i manifested my man into my life like i remember when i got my divorce i told my mom oh my god okay i remember i told my mom about this one guy right it's okay. like a sneaky link okay okay and he a flew little me out to moment. texas right okay and this guy 
Catfish? No, not catfish. He was a good man. Okay. <laughs> okay. <gasps> no, mommy. Not me. I, like, it wasn't... You know? Okay, but wait, but wait. Sometimes size doesn't matter. No, friend. It wasn't even, Did like, he know how to work it? No, friend. We, <laughs> that didn't count. You're like, there was nothing. The, no, we didn't... Nothing, friend. Not, we no, did mommy. not. That didn't like, count. Like, soft or hard? I Both. think that was what he was working with. That was it. <laughs> like, it was just like... <laughs> you know what? And I, I felt you. bad for that man because like... Wait, it was that bad. It was, like, no, it okay, was that bad. Because he apologized me. to me when he dropped me off at the airport, dude. You know it was bad. Afterwards, he respected the fact that... Like, he knew he had nothing to work with. That mm. the whole weekend that I was there, we just, we were just friends. But was it awkward? You guys actually did it? No! Oh, okay. It wasn't fuckable. Okay, but you saw it, though. No, yeah, I saw it. So how did you see it? Were you guys, like, about to do it? Well, okay, well, he was, like, giving me head for, like, fucking whole hour, bitch. I'm like, okay, well, what are we doing next? Okay, so was his head game strong or not? No, yeah, it was on fire. Oh, okay. No, okay. yeah, was at So you were like, give me it, give so me then, it. So then I was like, yeah, let, let me, <laughs> you know? Then I was like, why does it, why is he still with, like, clothes on? So then I oh, like, you know? shit. And then when I was just like, oh, what okay, is that? Okay, so you saw it bare skin? Yeah. Or like, no, with friend, boxers? No, friend, like, Fuck. without my uña, though. Dude, shut up. Hey, my uña, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> And it was already a red And then, like, I thought, like, I was like, well, maybe, like, because I called, dude, I, I'm telling you that I have more guy friends than girlfriends. Right. So I called my guy best friend up, like, quick. Like, I was like. You went to the restroom or what? No, like, okay, so I pretended to fall asleep. <laughs> it was that bad, dude. Yeah, dude. Okay, so you saw it, and then you were like, I'm sleepy. No, like, yeah, I was like, oh, like, oh, like, let's just let's cuddle. cuddle. <laughs> And so then, um, well, obviously, he's not going to say no because, like, he knows what he's, like, oh, you know, dude. he knows what he's bringing to the table. Yeah. But he was so nice. Like, he was just, dude, he was, like, a guy, a gym guy, like, being, like, like, he was nice looking. Like, tall, full yeah. beard, like, yeah. you know. Like, your vibes. Like, he was a handsome man. Yeah. He was a handsome man. But, but pobrecito friend. So what? You were like, let's just cuddle yeah, and nothing so happened. He went to work. It was like already late because keep in mind, he picked me up from the airport. We wanted to drink. Um, and then we were drinking. We went back to my ho like my hotel room. And then that's that's when that happened, friend. Like, it was just like very much like, okay, it was already late. So keep in mind, he goes to work early. Like, he would go to work five, six in the morning. So then I was hey, sitting there. but that's there. a good thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude. And like, me hice la dormida, dude. Like, he was like, I'm going to go to work. And then like, he came and gave me a kiss on my forehead. I was just like, yo, aquí me quinto sueño, según yo. The whole night, I was just sitting there like, bitch, what the fuck? fuck did i get myself into and so then um and then i call my best friend as soon as he leaves i call my best i'm like bro like what do i do like do i leave when i told my mom about my sneaky thing my mom was like well that's what you get because your your divorce is not um finalized because i was in the process of getting a divorce oh, you know okay, okay so she was like well that's what you get for get not getting you know like and i was like wow like i didn't tell my mom about my sneaky links anymore because she hurt my feelings you know what i feel like we have to have a balance because like sometimes we think our mom is our friend yeah but at the end of no, the day you know she's what? our mom it's because my mom was not my friend my mom was my ex's friend so yeah. my mom is like very old school like sides with the man Always with Always, the man. Always, like, yeah. whatever the man says. Fuck, that sucks. First of all, I am the man. Tell me why after that incident, I remember that I was manifesting my man. I told my mom, I was You're like, like, please bring no, me a man. No, por favor, tráeme uno bien barbudo, pitudo. Ah! <laughs> so then, I told, uh, like, I told my mom, I was joking around with her, and I was like, no vas a ver, un día me va a llegar un hombre que él me va a lavar la ropa por mí, él va a limpiar la casa por mí, él va a hacer todo por mí, él me va a amar, the standards. me va a amar más a mí. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted someone to love me more. Right. Like, I'm, I don't want to love a guy more. Like, it, this is the last man that I love a man for a man. Mm -hmm. The next man I love, if, if this don't work out, I'm going to love that man for his right. money because mm -hmm. you got me fucked up. Like, I am just hasta aquí con los hombres. This is the last opportunity I'm giving you. Okay, it's Victor? 24 get with the shit it's like girl like we're living in a different era we're really blessed to have men that are still down to listen to you yeah. and fix shit because that's how my man is like if i have a problem with
with something and I'm like, hey, don't do this or like, hey, like this made me feel some type of way. My man is the type to be like, okay, I'll fix it. He might not like it at first when you tell him. He might be like defensive a little bit, mm-hmm. but he makes changes. And that's, and that's what I good, love about yes. my man. Yes, that's the good part. Like you're down for growth. You're yeah. down to be down for me and I'm down to be down for you. Yeah. You know, and it sounds like Victor, right? Yeah. Victor is that type of She's vibe. She's like uh, Pedro, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Victor. We don't know Pedro. No, we don't know that. We don't, we don't know who that is. No, but yeah. Yeah. If a man is not willing to like be able to like let you mold him into a better man, then that's just not the man for you, girl. Right. Like run, girl, because my man like... Even though he's not a dad himself, I feel like he even molded himself into being a stepdad to my kid, you mm-hmm. know? Which, shout out to him because I feel like that's a big role you take into someone's life. We're going to do a concussion based. Just... <laughs> okay, we're done. I'm like, okay, that's it. We're going to no do more. a little uh-huh. concoction of what? Beatbox? It's the blue beatbox and buzz ball together. Yeah. So I'm nervous for that because I heard that beatbox is pretty crazy. Is it not? Is it wine? I only tried the fruit punch one. Uh huh. But is it wine or no? No, I don't think it's wine. Like, is it like a four local moment or like what? It just has a lot of alcohol. You're a gym girl. I am. You are, dude. And you know what, dude? You look so good. I Thank see you, you posting your your like gym progress and stuff. And okay, like, question, uh, question. Do you uh-huh. feel like I look different from the time in? in Back lake then? tahoe yes yeah you look way different dude your butt you ah, have that the butt. Dude, okay look bitch you i can, worked so hard dude that. you can have an ass but not it look good like muscular you know but your butt looks muscular thank you friend. it does it I doesn't just so look like a fat ass you know but you know what i've like limited myself to posting my gym journeys because like my whole journey mm-hmm. i don't think it's just like a day thing or like a month thing or like month to month thing i've been a, the person to like gain weight and lose weight mm-hmm. so i go up and down Me and weigh too. a lot i've always been which that is person normal too. but i just feel like since our life is on social media people are so quick to be like oh you gained five pounds oh yeah. you lost five pounds you and know? it's crazy because i feel like even when we go to events and stuff people like surprisingly will still make like comments and be like oh you gained weight are you this are you that oh, and you're just kind of like yes. oh yeah okay yeah i did or it's like, not like yeah. i'm asking them to carry me right do you feel like you have had bad experiences and like the industry where you're kind of like i'm turned off about brand events i'm turned off about like just this industry in general actually there was <laughs> i'm scared oh, yeah, now we're about uh-huh. to spill the tea the buzz ball. i'm like me let me fix uh, the microphone the so you guys can hear me <laughs> no actually like as a kid i was bullied but you know what it was mainly like elementary school i feel like middle school yeah here and there somewhat yeah but nothing there's nothing like getting bullied as an adult. Right. Because I feel like, ya todas merijonas con like, like bitch, yeah, our you clit know? is all hanging yeah, and dude, shit. Like, no mames, viejas. bitch. I went blind when I was really little. So, mm-hmm. like, I went from being able to see out of two eyes to me just, like, going blind. And I feel like, thank God it happened when it happened because I feel like as an adult it would be more hard to like adjust to that life than as a kid because to me this is my normal and like it's not like anything you different. grew into it yeah yeah and i learned from it like it's totally different like from how you drive to the way i drive right because like my blind spot and like the way that i have to turn right well like, even right know? now you were like hey yeah. can we switch spots yes. because i can't see you so yeah. there's like certain things even when i went to cancun we d- i did like this like underwater like extraction thing mm. and i remember that i started freaking out because they were like you have to hold on to the rail and the rail was on my blind side mm. and i was like hold on hold on like and they have I like no i can't see yeah. imagine underwater you can't see you can't breathe bitch like no, you right. you know right. so it was really hard and I, I came up i'm out of the water i'm like hold on hold on hold on like let me tell you guys i'm blind out of this eye like you know and the guy's like oh i'll guide you so he hold my he literally held my hand oh. the whole way down so i feel like i still got to experience that and i'll work around it like there's no other choice you know like 
I've learned how to work with my eye like this. Even when we started filming, like, I didn't want to tell you anything, but, like, I, I noticed that you were kind of covering your eye a little bit. Don't feel like that. Like, don't don't restrict yourself because, dude, you are you. You are beautiful. Your eye, your yes, history, all of that makes you <laughs> you. And I feel like that makes you really unique to yourself, you no, know? No, yeah, but I, there's, I'm not going to lie. There's sometimes that I just wish I was just normal, you know? But you are normal, no, dude. No, yeah, but like with my own little yeah. like, you yeah. know, I'm not about yeah. to cry. Everything that I went through with my eye, it was a lot. It was a lot compared to like um, now I'm I'm comfortable with. It. Well, obviously not if I'm crying about it, you know. Maybe after I go to therapy, I'll be fine. No, but I just feel like as a kid, like growing up with little kids, it's hard because kids are cruel. Kids used to bully me. Um, they used to be like. You know, they, they don't want to come near me because, oh, you have a disease. And I remember mm. one time, like, they called my mom from school, like, saying, hey, Mire, like, can you come to school? They basically did a meeting with my mom saying that I can't go around trying to scare people with my eye. But there was this other girl that had an eye like me in um, elementary school. Mm -hmm. And I remember that I was getting bullied because of my eye and the girl, too. Mm -hmm. so then she I, was blind also she was also like just like me she, her eye was just similar to mine Aww. and then um i remember that we we're in the playground and i kind of i used to wear prosthetic eye shell so really? I, I used to put it into my eye and it would match this eye so it would be like two brown eyes okay but now i wear a contact that's kind of more like on the gray tone to match my gray eye oh okay yeah but okay. i nor naturally have brown eyes okay. like you you know yeah um so I remember that I took out, I popped my eye out, and the little kid freaked out. He was just like, whoa. Like, like what's going on? Yeah. yeah. So apparently that kid lost sleep because of me. So oh, like the mom shit. reported it, and then like they told my parents, and my mom was like, well, I've been telling you that that kid is like bullying my daughter. Like, mm -hmm. so my daughter's going to defend herself however she wants, you know? Right, so right. I did like pull out my eye, and I was just like, boo, you know, type of thing. What about it, bitch? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he was just like, Imagine, like, as a yeah. kid, seeing someone pull out their eye. But one thing for sure, as a mom now, I feel like I'm very passionate, especially just knowing that I have an autistic nephew. I'm very passionate about, like, teaching my son that people are different, you yeah. know? And it's me, okay. Oh, me with my it son, It is totally yeah. okay. You do not discriminate against other people that are different, no matter if they're blind, no matter if they're autistic, no matter if they look different, yeah. no matter no matter what. Yes. And I'm very passionate about that. It makes me wonder, like, who is actually raising these people? Exactly. Because I feel like you got to really be going through something at home to be that mean. Just like even on social media, I would never go on my phone. Mm -hmm. Even if you think something negative about a, a something on social media, you can just look at it and just move on about it. You know right. what I mean? Right. Like, a you normal don't have to person. sit there and be like, you're right. fucking fat. Or like, or like, you're this. Yeah. Or like, you or look like about, this. Hey, you know what? A comment that lives in my mind rent free wow. is when I used to like post my like, um, fitness journey and okay. i remember like someone was like what upper body workouts are you doing so i don't do them because you're built like a football player and like you read those comments and you're just like he ha ha you know but then you walk in front of a mirror and you're just like damn it kind of hits you a little yeah, bit maybe like i am but maybe like, they're right yeah. you know some people do say it to your face and then when oh, it happens really? so you've had that encounter yeah really yes i haven't yes i've been bullied actually in my career, I've been both. I've been actually like in person. Though. Yeah, in person, as an adult. And what did you do, bitch? Well, I feel like you know how like you're in the moment. And you're just kind of like, wait, did they really just say right, that? Right. You know, type of uh -huh. thing. So you just kind of you don't really. Como can I took it more of like. Oh, he he. Okay, like move on type of thing. <laughs> like, like you're like. Uh, okay, awkward. you just shit on me, but. <laughs> okay, you know? yeah. Okay, so I had a girl. Okay. I went on a brand trip, mm -hmm. and this girl, like, I'm like, oh, we're all friends, like we're yeah. all cool. But this girl, like, she was like, I feel like I'm in a competition with you, and I'm like, and I was like, what? You? And I, I started like laughing because we were like drinking a little bit, yeah. That. And then she was, I was like, why? Why do you feel like you're in a competition with me? And she was like, well, because I have to prove. Who's Proof more? What? She's like, who's more handicapped, me or you? And then what do I was you like, mean? and then I was like, wait, wait, wait. How is this girl handicapped? Like she's in a wheelchair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But um, and then I don't consider myself handicapped. Okay. Like I've never 
I don't like como que no aprovecho about my eye to like make the topic of the conversation. Right, right, right. You know, like even if we're sitting at a table and like that time we're like sitting, okay, it's a brand trip, they want to do the dinner, we're doing a dinner. So right. then someone asks me, which I don't mind questions about my eye, even if Annette asked me I, right now, I told her, I was like, you would not hurt my feelings if you mention like anything about my eye. Yeah. Like I, it doesn't bother me because right. it's a, it's literally a part of me. Just it's how, a valid just question. Just how my ex is a part of my life, just how my man is a part of my life, just how right. anyone, like, you know, right. it, that's just a part of my life and my story. So I don't mm -hmm. mind talking about it. But that girl was just, that was mean because I just felt like she's the type of person that like, okay, I want to talk about me and I want to talk, like if someone's talking about someone else, let's switch the topic to talk about her again. And that was my second brand trip experience ever. And I, the brand owner actually told me, he was like, you know what, like, thank you so much for not like feeding into it because it gives... So like, it was a big thing. No, yeah, it was a big yeah. thing. Everyone noticed. I mean, Candy um, Lover was there. Candy okay. Lover went, okay, so we went to like this beach, right? And uh, okay, let me tell you guys the story about the dinner Part. Okay. okay so we were sitting at the dinner okay and they were asking me about my eye right so then i was like about to start telling them like oh when i was little my accident with my eye i accidentally right. poked my eye with a metal headband uh -huh. so that's how i went blind right but as soon as i started talking she was like oh i stabbed her in the eye she stabbed me in my back and so everyone just how her face was right now everyone was just like but it was just so awkward that no, not me, nobody, nobody said anything. They were just kind of like, uh. That time, okay, whatever, we let it slide. And then um, when we went to the beach, like to the little island, and you know how like there's macas, when the macas like they go into the floor? Right, right. So they were into the sand and mm -hmm. the maca was like flying away. So I went ahead and like grabbed it because mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want it to hit nobody. I'm so I grabbed it. Yeah, yeah, so I grabbed it. She was like, if it hits anyone in the eye, you'll have no content to post. And so then, me holding it right here, ca like, Candy Lover is, like, sitting right there, like, as a cuenta que tu ahí, yo aquí. And then, like, Candy Lover, I told Candy Lover, like, what did she say? And she's, like, over there, like, maybe, like, por, como aquí en frente de esta luz. Uh-huh. Like, como, no, ahí como en tu silla. Okay, so, like, right yeah. here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so, she here. was right there. So, then I was, like, what did she say? Holding it. Right. And she, and Candy Lover was just, like. You're like, I don't like, want to contribute. I never confronted her or anything about it. But it's just because it wasn't worth it. If you say bad things out loud, bad things are going to happen to you. Exactly. The way that the, the tongue is just so powerful that like what you spit out is just so... It's going to come the right energy, back to you. Yes, dude. So yeah. it's going to come right back. It is what it is and it was what it was. And I feel like I'm glad that I'm able to sit here and give you guys some tea right. like that. It's crazy to think that like as an adult... You're still going At through things like that. At this grown-ass age, you're still dealing it's with that, bullying. Bitch, it's that. Yeah. Like, bitch, scratch your coochie, smell that shit. Yeah. And if it was... And Girl, you got other problems to be thinking about. Like, you do not come up me and my eye, okay? Me day, yeah. What, girl? <laughs> Bitches be walking just how they coochie smells. Funny, girl. Funny. Like, it just... That's just how girls are. It be yeah. so weird. Yeah. Like... <laughs> There was a friend that I had that just walked just like that. Just the way her coochie smelled. Uh -huh. Y pobrecita. Like, and I think about people like that because I'm just like, Por I eso feel les va como yeah. les va la vida. Like, yeah. Because if you're not a good person, dude, not good things are going to happen to you. I, t I took a big step back from social media back in 2021 or something like that. I kind of, uh -huh. me blurring out the year. But um, I, I took a big step back around that time just because... Um, I wanted to get a mommy makeover mm -hmm. and I never have ever thought about getting mommy makeover so bad in my life but it was after like around it was like around the COVID season you know okay. like I didn't have the gym anymore so I gained weight so I was like okay you know what then maybe I should just get surgery when I gained a lot of weight I lost a lot of followers shut up yeah that's sad, That is dude. sad because people would message me. Like, I was going through a really hard time. And at that time, I did reach out to a doctor. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if you've heard of Vive. Yes, I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> I'm scared for what you're going to say. Uh huh. Well, I wanted to get my body done with them. Okay. And I had already talked to them for like almost a year that I was like, oh, well, when I'm ready, I'll send you guys the pictures. It was the first doctor that I ever like reached out to. Mm -hmm. um, and when I finally built the courage to send my pictures because obviously they're not where I live. So I did send those pictures. My face 
was shown um, but not shown yeah okay like you can see my tattoo you can see my bedroom like you like can there's see, things that you can you distinguish can see the panocha, that it was you. Like you can see the concha y todo, I, mean. and I finally built the courage to like send the pictures in so i can get my quote and um keep in mind this was like a very like tough time for me because this is when i like gained that weight and i was like you know what this is my time like if i want to get surgery i need to get it now you know, mm -hmm. but then I figured out that I was like a little overweight to get surgery. Regardless, I still had to lose the weight to like get right. surgery. Right now, I'm at the part where I finally lost all that weight and I can get my surgery. Mm -hmm. But I'm so scared after this incident. And they like blackmailed me and they just were like, you send me $500 or I'll expose your pictures. And when I didn't send them the money, I just kind of, like, left them on red because I was just, like, just shook, you know, like, at the fact that they sent that to so me. So, this was after you had your consultation with them? So, hace cuenta que ellos estaban esperando que yo les mandara las fotos? It was, like, an online yeah, consultation. Yeah, it was, like, through Instagram. Okay. Like, we're, t we're communicating through Instagram. Because I did the same. Yeah, uh -huh. so, we're communicating through Instagram, and I told them, like, oh, okay, when I'm ready, I'll go ahead and, like, send these pictures, you know? Right. It took me a whole year to be able to, like, send them. And okay. so then I literally said in the messages, and I can even send you the screenshots. Uh -huh. I told him like, "Oh, like you know, I'm so sorry. I finally built the courage to send you these pictures." Because that's a big thing. Yeah, that's it's like sending nudes, dude. Like, yes. like your nudes being exposed, you know. And but not even like your cute nudes. It's like oh you no, gotta it's like you gotta show body. them. Like you gotta show them. Shit. Yeah, like you gotta be like like. Yeah, yeah, all around, so. you know, the sides, your, you know, you can't yeah. be like, oh, voy a sumir la panza, voy a enseñar, like, know. a little cute ass yeah, pic, no, no, it's not like yeah. that, it's like, you gotta be really raw with your pictures, because obviously they're gonna, that's how they're gonna quote you, right, and so then when I finally sent them the pictures, they were like, send me $500, or I'm gonna expose you, and then I was just sitting there, like, shook, you know, I was like, what, like, and at the time, I had a friend that was with me, and she was just like, I showed her, because, like, she wanted to go to the, that same doctor okay. and stuff, and she was just like, what like and she called my sister because I, I literally broke down i've never like sobbed cried like that as an adult in my wow, life dude i was dude. sitting there like crying pero como una niña, like como si fuera una chiquita, well you were you know? innocent dude i and mean I was, who does that and i you know? was like crying and i was just like sobbing dude like loud crying like ugly crying you know mm -hmm. and um my sister pulled up she called the clinic she was like who's taking care of your social media like you know and they were basically like oh everyone has access here at the clinic blah blah so my sister was like oh so like my sister right now is getting expo exposed on instagram they're like oh actually we got um we got hacked in the morning so we haven't had access to an account since like um, I think it was like 9 a.m. or something like that or 8 a.m. So pretty a. much they were trying to cover it up. Yeah, so like... They, but they had post your after they, pictures. They post... No, yeah, they posted or my... Or your before they pictures. They tagged I mean. me in it. They tagged me in Shut my story. Shut the fuck up. They tagged you? They tagged me your in naked story, body. my naked body. But obviously Instagram has like their rights and stuff like that, that they took down those pictures so quick. Uh -huh. But a minute of those pictures being up, like that still ruined me. Dude, I'm that so sorry. That shit took sorry. a big toll on my life. And I feel like it just kind of like, I took a big step back. Mm -hmm. That's actually when I quit YouTube. I haven't wow. posted on YouTube. Um, I tried posting back when the Lake Tahoe event happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was actually, I think that was my last YouTube video. Wow, YouTube. no way. Yeah. That's definitely traumatizing. And I, I, I totally think that's not okay that they did that. Yeah. Without your because permission. Because you don't have a say within like, you know, what's going on. Right. Honestly, it took me a long time to like, kind of like get over that. I feel yeah. like other traumatic experiences in my life have just happened. And I'm just like, but that if you're I like this I is was, bigger than yeah, that. If yeah, if I thought I was sad back then, girl, that's nothing. Thing. like yeah. that just uh, got nothing on what i'm actually living in the moment what about how my scalp is still red look at it Habrá señales que te pintas el pelo. Uh -huh. i feel like you would look so bomb with it once you're d once you're over this stage because dude this stage is also so bomb i, just I went through that stage as well color yeah. so much yeah I it looks it. so good and i feel like i actually take care of my hair more no. really yeah i do hair masks uh, yeah like, right because you, you have to you yeah. have to upkeep it yeah. yeah so i feel like it's like nice and healthy but dude i feel like this would look so bomb on you let me find out you want to do a little twinsy moment I, I for do. our class yes. i'm having a great time honestly uh, me too dude i feel like i needed this with you me too I'm like we're all tag. like we're all lady mctooties like now i don't take you serious with that in your head is that how you guys see me when i'm live is that why i'm permanently banned <laughs>
<laughs> is that, that what I look right like if I got turned that way? <laughs> good. Oh my god, Fred, I feel like when you look at me, it's like, oh, he go up. But when you turn to the side, it just hits so different. <laughs> oh no, okay. How long do I leave it? We can take it out right now. Let's see what it looks okay, like. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's take it down real quick so we can, yeah. Wait, well, yeah. so we can finish the video. Oh, okay, but it's yeah. just we just wanted to give her a little volume in her life. Todo me recuerda a él and I just feel like I should call him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here, you do it. <laughs> wow, friend. Look, look, look. Okay. Did it work? Let's we see. had it for like 30 seconds. <laughs> No, it worked. Look, it worked. Look at it. Your hair actually looks more of a lambinin than this or whatever. Look. Okay, it did work a little bit. I feel like if you sleep with it, it's an overnight thing. No, yeah, for, for sure. sure. For what sure. if I put it in your hair before I leave? And then tomorrow, and then I tomorrow do a little you recap take it off yeah. in the morning and show them. So I feel like that's all we have for tonight's episode. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for having me. Oh, of course. I love you, I love you too. Those bells were like. I know, I'm ready right. some in and out. And let us know in the comments how you guys feel about this because um because we were because yeah in the yeah. With that being said, I love you guys so so much, and I will see you guys next Sunday at 7 p.m.